guys, so today I want to talk about the rig that I use for Calaveras Lake and the terminal tackle, the hook size, the barrel swivels, the leader line, um, and the bait that I use. Um, I use a lot, a lot of Yaman crawfish flavor, fish bites, crab flavor, and shrimp flavor. All right, so I also use the Gamagatsu 4 Ot Octopus Circle Hook, a size 5, 6, or 7 Eagle Claw Barrel Swivel. I'll show you. And 50 pound clear monofilament. Okay. So those are gonna, that's the terminal tackle that I use, plus the line, plus the bait. Oh, and also a bank sinker, four ounce. I love bank sinkers, four ounces, and I'll explain why. All right, guys, so let me show you an example of the rig that I use. I'm gonna try to get this on camera as best as I can, so just bear with me. All right. So here we go. So we start with the bank sinker here. It's tied to a loop knot. And that's just so that I can change out the knots a lot faster and I don't have to worry about re-rigging or redoing my leader line. Basically say the there's no wind, the water's perfect, or I go and I fish a pond and I don't need such a big weight. Um, and I wanna switch it to a one ounce weight. I can easily just pop it off and put a one ounce weight. Then I give myself about a foot, foot and a half from the hook to the bank sinker, okay? Sometimes I go a little bit longer to two feet. I don't like to go way too, too long, all right? And that's going to be connected to a circle hook, but I prefer the octopus circle hook by Gamagatsu, okay? A lot of people go and they buy the mustad or the eagle claw. I've just had so much more success with the Gamagatsu. Less, I lose less fish with that Gamagatsu hook. All right, and then this is all to your personal preference. I usually like to have my leader line from my hook to my barrel swivel to be pretty short. Um, I prefer it to be more into the four inch length. I like my barrel swivel to be pretty close to my main line. I use a 40 pound main line braid so you always want to connect your braided line to your barrel swivel using the improved cinch knot or your polymer knot or your favorite knot that you like to use. Um, I just prefer, I prefer the cinch knot or the improved cinch knot. It's just an easy knot to learn, easy to tie, and you don't have much to worry about. Haven't had any failures. Then you want to connect your, in your Kentucky rig, this is, con this is made a dropper loop. Your dropper loop should be at least the length of, mm, I would say about three inches to your hook. You wanna make sure you have a nice leader line just for in fact if a fish comes and tries to bite it, they can take the whole entire bait with them. They're not gonna be hitting a restricted area. So say for instance, your hook is too close to your main line. If a fish comes and tries to bite it, they're gonna hit the main line. So you wanna make sure you have a good distance and. That way when the fish sees it, they just take it and then they'll feel the tension from the weight. And then the reason I like bank sinkers and I like this rig at Calaveras and Brownie Lake, it those lakes from bank, it is crazy snags. You'll lose a lot of leaders. You'll lose a lot of weights, a lot of hooks, a lot of swivels, just, just because of all those snags in the lake. Um, this holds the hook just above the, above the ground so if there's any fishing lines that have been popped from previously or rocks or any kind of snags, basically keeps the hook off the ground. Um, it also helps show the bait a little bit better. So if there's any kind of current, it shows as if it's floating or dying. That, that's just from my, my experience. Um, when you use a Carolina rig, the Carolina rig throws it right on the ground. So... I don't like that. I want the fish to be able to see it from a distance or smell it from a distance. And I want that 
bait scent to move around. Um, another reason why I like the Kentucky rig at Calaveras and Browning Lake is if there is grass or if there is mud, it's holding that bait above that. Okay, so let me show you how I connect my bait to my hook. So what I do, this is just for example, I cut my bait. It comes in about 12 inch strips and I cut it to about one inch, pe uh, one inch pieces. So when you get it into your one inch pieces, I'll get, say for instance, I'll put my crawfish on and I'll connect it, just the corner. I want to be able to expose as much of the hook as possible. This bait does not fall off. You basically need to be fish on. It lasts about an hour to, I would say an hour and a half to two hours having this bait out there, especially the long lasting formula. All right, so I hook three pieces on. I usually connect one shrimp one crawfish and then one crab the reason i do that is because you don't know what the fish are going to be biting on you're basically putting out the scent of three different fish when i first experiment with this i didn't believe it was going to work i was like this is just going to confuse the fish they're not going to want to eat it they're not going to want it i've been having so much success using this combination that i've gotten people to use it and try it and They've been, they've been connecting with fish. Um, I really, I really believe in this rig. I really believe in this bait. Um, just depends where you use it and how you use it. Um, the best time to fish the lakes, I would say is early in the morning. Try to be there by 7.15 or so. So that way you can set up, put your bait out. For me, from experience, the fish start running about eight, eight o'clock. That's when you're going to have your best bet on catching fish. Um, but again, that's just from experience, knowing how the fish are running, being there all day, um, learning what they're doing and how they're moving. Um, I'm not going to say shrimp doesn't work or shad doesn't work or tilapia. Um, that's great. Um, if you don't want to spend any money on bait or you just want to catch your own bait, I, I would suggest using tilapia or shrimp. I've had success with shrimp. The only thing with shrimp is it falls off the hook. Tilapia can fall off the hook. At least with this bait, it stays on for two hours. You can basically say it's going to be on there for two hours throughout the day. Um, tilapia. Tilapia is more of a bait that I use at night. So say, for instance, I'm going to fall asleep for two hours or so. I have a, at least a bait that's not going to evaporate on me i guess you can say um but yeah that's basically the rig that i use so wait to hook to swivel as you can see that's how you're fishing so you're basically fishing the ground you're just fishing two three inches off the ground at most at most maybe a foot all right guys if you have any questions let me know